The UNA softball team dropped two out of three over the weekend against Mississippi College, and in this Lion Vision update, we'll talk with UNA softball coach Ashley Cozart about all the action this weekend. And, Coach, we dropped game one. We had some trouble in the field. Game two, Raven Cole loses a one to nothing pitcher's duel. But when you look at the Gulf South Conference standings, despite dropping two out of three, we're still just three games out of first place. Um, we are. I mean, I was looking at it this morning, and, you know, we're still there, even though we had a, a bad weekend, actually two bad weekends. But, um, you know, we just we just have to keep fighting. And even if, you know, you win that one game out of the series, that it, it matters at this point. And so, um, you know, again, we just weren't able to put our bats together this weekend. Um, you know, pitching was good the second and third game, um, but the bats just didn't really roll around to that third game. But, um, again, you know, we just got to keep fighting, and we've got a crucial um, weekend coming up. Let's talk about Hannah Bodenhorn for just one second. Her last two outings, she's gone out there on Sunday and really must win games for us and had outstanding performances Sunday against Mississippi College, a four-hit shutout. What is she doing right now in the circle to be so effective? I think it's just just who she is as a person. I mean, you know, the kids want to want to play hard behind her, and she gives a lot of great energy when she's on the mound. And she's she's winning really big games for us. You know, you take last weekend she won the UH game on Sunday, and then this weekend she won the Sunday game. And um, she's just doing what she needs to do. She's hitting her spots. Um, she's throwing great pitches. She's moving the ball, um, and she has confidence on the mound, which is really important. Game three, we had a big two-run home run from Shelby Woodard. A couple times this season, she's been hitting well over 400 in her sophomore campaign. Here we are, what, three weekend series left, I believe. What does her bat mean for this team down the stretch? Um, she's just a presence in our lineup, you know, and, and Shelby, I mean, she's good right now, but she still, you know, she still hasn't hit her stride. And so I think she's just going to keep getting better as we go on. And it's like you said, she's just a sophomore. And she got, you know, some bats last year, but I think she's just going to keep getting better for us and, and continue to be a big, big bat in our lineup. Bailey Nelson, one of our key returnees from a year ago, batting in the two spot, dropping down a spot in the order, five hits over the weekend. A year ago, Coach, she set a record for runs scored in a season here at North Alabama. So for Bailey getting hot at this point in the season, when she's on base, she really does a lot of great things. She does. You can do so much with her. You know, you can hit and run. You can steal. Um, you know, we moved her we moved her to the two spot to take a little bit of pressure off of her, and I think that helped a little bit just to mix things up. Um, so we, we really need to get her, her going. When she gets going, we're definitely better as a team, and so I was proud of her this weekend for getting on base. This weekend, the Lions travel to Jackson, Tennessee, to take on Union University. So we play Union on the road, Christian Brothers at home in two weeks, and then the regular season concludes against Valdosta State in three weeks. So three weekend series left. With the way the conference is, do you look at these last nine games as almost must-win games? Definitely. Um, you know, our goal middle of the season was to, you know, beat West Al three games and then to beat Delta three games, and we did that. And so I think um, a definite goal is to go in there and, and beat Union three games and then, of course, take three from Christian Brothers at home. I mean, it, it, it's a must win for sure because obviously going into Valdosta, you never know what could happen. Um, you know, so we, we definitely need these next six games. Going into this weekend against Union, what's the expectation from the Bulldogs? Um, you know, they're they're a scrappy team. You know, they're I think they're second or third to last. So I mean, they have really nothing more to lose at this point. You know, they're just kind of just just fighting. We're gonna be playing them at their place. Um, I know they just won an 8-0 game against Lee at their place um, on Sunday. So they're just not a team that you can take lightly. They've got some some young kids that if they perform well, they can you know do some damage. So we we again we've got to go in there and you know know that the target's on our back and and we've got to hit hit and play defense is the biggest thing for us. The UNA softball team on the road this weekend taking on Union in another pivotal Gulf South Conference weekend series. Be sure to visit RoarLines.com for all your UNA softball updates.